I'm Michelle, and you're watching Network Cuyahoga News. Today is a end day that we have to announce our Alaska Airlines to retire Boeing 737 to 900 in 2025. Alaska Airlines is planning to bid farewell to its entire Boeing 737 to 900 fleet in 2025. The Seattle based carrier, which operates 11 examples of the aircraft, will retire the fleet gradually. It comes as the carrier has been taking delivery of newer 737 MAX aircraft. However, ongoing delivery delays have pushed some planes that were expected to enter the fleet this year into next year. As outlined in Alaska S Form 10Q published at the beginning of the month, the airline will reduce its 737 to 900 fleet in half by the end of this year and it has already begun. Then, throughout 2025, the remaining six aircraft will exit the fleet. Simple Flying contacted Alaska on Friday for details about the aircraft's retirement, but a representative could not be immediately reached. The move will mark the end of an era as Alaska was the launch customer for the aircraft type in 1997. The airline celebrated the delivery of the first aircraft in true Alaska fashion as Iditarod Trail sled dog race champion Doug Swingley and his team escorted the plane out of Boeing's factory in Renton, Washington, for its world premiere in 2001. Alaska would take delivery of a total of 12 examples, 5 in 2001, 1 in 2002, 5 in 2003, and 1 in 2004 according to Planespotters.net. The average age of the 11 planes currently in service is 22.6 years. Retirement has already commenced as the airline removed N323AS in July the youngest aircraft in the fleet. When Alaska took delivery of the aircraft, they had a different seating configuration and lacked some of the amenities passengers currently enjoy, such as seatback USB ports, power outlets, and Wi-Fi. The planes were also subsequently equipped with Boeing's innovative space bins, which increased overhead bin space to accommodate 48% more bags. Alaska typically deploys its 737 to 900s on routes along the West Coast, Interior West Coast, and Midwest from its hub at Seattle Tacoma International Airport C. Over the years, they have primarily visited markets such as Anchorage, San Francisco, San Jose, Juneau, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Denver, Spokane, Tucson, St. Louis, Portland, and Kansas City.